I think we all have moments of, of recognizing maybe divine inter intervention. And I remember distinctly, uh, we went to the grocery store one evening and with mom and I heard music in the music on the radio and just something hit me, overwhelmed me. It says, I said, Mom, I gotta play music. My name's Chris. So I played the French horn. I played since I was 10 years old, which was 52 years ago. And I um, wanted to be an educator. I'm, I'm now in my 38th year of music education in Fresno Unified School District. It's 30 plus years ago and it just, just started happening. Hemifacial spasm is a condition where the nerve that controls the muscles of the face that are the muscles of facial expression in particular, the ones that control your forehead, your cheek, your mouth, your eyes, those muscles are all supplied by a nerve called the facial nerve. And sometimes that nerve misfires. And when that nerve misfires, you can have significant spasms or tics in the face. It can start affecting people around middle age and it typically will start around the eyelid with just twitches and spasms um, and then as the years or months go by it can progress to involve the lower face as well. One time I, I couldn't believe it just kept going and I timed it, it was like 18 minutes. It did, it definitely affected my playing because you don't know when the spasms are coming on. Chris uh, had been dealing with this for quite some time. I think upwards of 30 years he's been having the spasms. And about 15 years ago he started to have the Botox injections by his doctor, and, which was controlling the spasms, but as a result he was having the paralysis on his face. Botulinum toxin doesn't treat the problem at the source of the condition, which is at the brainstem, but it is the best first option for the majority of patients, especially those who have milder symptoms. The Botox, it really settled things down, but it, was, it never completely eliminated the spasms. One of the more common causes of hemifacial spasm is where a little blood vessel is rubbing up against the nerve as it's right outside the brainstem, right as it's coming off of the brain, going into the bones and out to the face. That little junction, there's a little artery that will pulsate and irritate the nerve and essentially short circuit the nerve for it to be firing continuously. Surgery we perform is called a microvascular decompression. And so what we do is we go in through a small opening with, with the assistance of an endoscope and we find the nerve, find the blood vessel, and move it aside with some Teflon and it just prevents the, the friction of the artery against the nerve and allows for the nerve to calm down. When I saw Chris, you know, I was confident that we'd be able to help him. The one question was that because he had this for so long, we weren't sure if we were able to reverse a lot of these symptoms as well. And that was one of my concerns going into the surgery, which we talked about. But thankfully, after the surgery, uh, I don't think Chris has had a Botox injection since. So that's uh, really the goals of surgery. Now it's been 11 months since the last Botox treatment. and. I'm starting to get the high range back.